Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever, where I fix things for people who ask me to fix things, and so forth. Uh, today, we're, well, today's episode couldn't be any different to the last one. Uh, in the last episode we were on an absolutely enormous map, and, uh, and it was struggling to maintain the frame rate in, uh, in 1875. Uh, in today's episode, it's 2017, and, uh, and as you can see, it's, it's running jolly smoothly, and that's because the map is incredibly small. Um, uh, Joachim got in touch to uh, invite me to, to have a poke around this map, and we're, uh, we're riding on board one of the successful commuter services that he already has. We'll, we'll go the distance, but over to the left there, you'll see the, uh, the goods line and the river doing their thing, uh, and... Uh, Oh, uh, out the other end of the tunnel, there's another passenger train doing its thing. We're going to come round the corner, doing our thing, and there's there's the first city that we'll see. And there aren't that many cities to see. Uh, yes, this is a very small map. I think there are only six, eight cities in total um, on the map. And as a result, it's kind of stalled out. And, and small maps always tend to do that because... Growth is, is kind of predicated on the ability to connect to new places and, uh, and a variety of places. Um, the other thing that is possibly uh, keeping this, this map somewhat constrained is the fact that there are absolutely no mods installed. This is entirely vanilla. Also, I feel like pointing out, I've no idea where we're going. We just are, generally. It's quite nice, though, isn't it? I mean, there's, there's, some, there's some nice scenery, and I have to say, this... Uh, this rail route's quite nicely planned out as well. Oh, look at that bus line going underneath the bridge. I approve. I approve of a great many things. Um, anyway, I'll I'll break off of here. That's a flipping TGV. Is that making any money? I have to know. No, got to know. Uh, let's have a look. Seventy nine on board. Finances. Yeah, it does. It does make a smidge of cash. Uh, it, it's not uh, not making huge amounts. Well, actually, it's not making a. A two and a bit million a year. That's plenty. Oh, okay, that's doing rather well. So here we go. There's the here's the map in total. Yeah, we've even got airports going on. We've got plenty of uh, of shipping action. In fact, it's quite congested. Uh, the shipping action, and then you get down to the far end, and there you go. That's all of it. That's the map. Uh, let's have a quick look at the town count here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six towns in total. That's it, uh, and that's why. Uh, growth is is somewhat limited is because you know once you're going to all six towns well that's that's that done congratulations so the objective that has been set for me today is on the main city of Shildon here uh it's got no that's a that's a tram that's that's not who we wanted to talk to give me the give me the thank you uh what we're looking at is the uh, the shopping and uh, and jobs facilities that they have are quite small can we make them any bigger? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating there a little. Uh, in the uh, in the the original request that was made, uh, Joachim did point out that that this uh, map is pretty much done, um, and it, you know there's there's not much more can be done with it, uh, and that I should just generally have a bit of a poke around and see what I can find. But he did say that uh, were it possible to improve this this situation a little, I think it is, um, and uh, and it comes down to the uh, the setup of your streets here and uh, and where you're depositing the goods. Catchment is everything. Now it looks to me, and I might be wrong. Hold on, Sheldon Industrial, Sheldon Commercial. Let's call these two routes up here. Uh, kill that. Shut this off. Let's have a look. Where are they? So it's it, this is all about where are they dropping off and what is the the kind of the radius that we're getting there. So industrial's pretty good. Uh, where's the uh, where's the drop off for the old blue stuff here? Are you dropping there? Okay. Yeah. So um, that's I think that is the uh, the the major holdup to this uh, to this working as effectively as it might. And to be honest, it's it's not being held up by much. What are we what are we flashing here? Uh, the Rothbury Chemical Plant is not quite chemicaling as much as it would like. Um, it's as much down to the fact that you've got a hundred percent coverage uh, going on here, and there is more beyond that is not yet being delivered to. Uh, so uh, so if anything, I would uh, I would endeavour to increase 
uh, our uh, our delivery to the, the services we've got. You could put another delivery point over here. Uh, that might uh, that might spur up a bit of action. Uh, although most of this is residential, if you stick one in there, you at least get these commercial buildings uh, ticked off the list. But yeah, you've, you've, your coverage is such that you're actually you're actually hitting near a hundred percent of the of the buildings, just not quite in the in the volume required. So we've got a couple of choices. Uh, if I kill back up the town information. Um, so we've got demand for 416 of each of these items 467 of those you're not going to get any better than that until we start getting a little bit closer to that uh, to that demand so uh, so what i'm going to try and find is a uh, is a producer somewhere that will allow me to uh, to to up the tempo in terms of what's being delivered now i really like this goods factory that we've got here it's either wood and plastic or it's wood and steel. Oh, I've fought steel repeatedly lately. Now, we are producing absolutely everything else on the map already. So that's that in itself is not too problematic. Uh, and, uh, and certainly if they were to ramp their tempo up, who knows what might come out the other end of it. So what are we going to do? I think, well, we're going to try and nick some of this lumber from over there. There's plenty of it, and to be honest, capacity can be increased further still. So that's that's option one, and then we either need plastic or we need steel. And we either need plastic or we need steel. There's got to be one nearby, one of those two. Either a plastics factory. We've got a steel mill up here. Now, it's a bit of a hike. Actually, it's not that much of a hike at all. We could just grab the steel from here, bring it out to this, and wang it all into uh, into Shildon. Uh, now, the the annual income or the annual profit. I mean, look, the annual income is only 177 million, but you're going to struggle to get any higher than that with the uh, with the setup that we've got. But uh, that's you know 20 plus million in profit every year. That will easily uh, afford us what I'm about to do, uh, which is going to be somewhat abusive to this lovely map now then how am i going to get planks from yonder in fact where are these planks coming from they're coming from this sawmill as you would as you would probably expect so if i run i could run a little plank service by uh, by truck really uh, you've got a bit of a bit of a hold up going on there we can actually we can we can make an improvement here in me oh no 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 you you got that really wrong uh we can make a bit of an improvement here however hold on if we uh, uh let's let's let those chaps back out in fact we can upgrade this road and make an improvement right let's do that yeah yeah i know look it's going to upset everyone but uh needs must yeah i know yeah okay fine yeah so be it Bye-bye. Cheerio. There we go. That's good. Uh, and then do that as well. Now let's... How about we How about we put that train line back in again? I think that will, that will possibly cheer people up. There we go. Whack that in there. Give it the high speed. Done. Nope. Nine are broken. It's the road vehicles. Hold on. Nope. CM trucks. CM to shield. No, it's all trucks. Uh, right. So we can, uh, we, can, we can stick an upgrade on there and that will help a little. Uh, how do we want to do that? Uh, we could stay on this side. No, we will. We'll go down this side. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the bypass first. All right. Now, if you're if you're starting to deliver with any kind of volume, then stop mucking about with medium roads. Uh, medium roads are not are not for volume services. Yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah. 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 You know it. There we go. Right. Yeah, don't mess around. Think more Roman. Uh, there we go. If we do that, that will help. Uh, and then uh, let's uh, let's push this all the way along here as well. Because uh, these trucks are more than capable of doing faster than the uh, the medium carriageway will actually allow. So uh, uh, so setting it up to work with something a bit more beefy is a is a good plan. All right, we'll do that. And then get me some some city street stuff here. And let's uh, let's prep this for a bit further expansion. Now I'm going to take this all the way over here. 
are you? No, 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 because that's horrible. Uh, I'm going to take it out that way a bit. There you go. All right, and then we're going to take this all the way over here onto there, and we'll just stick a, a gentle tunnel in there uh, because additional crossing opportunities are also quite useful. So that should speed the stuff along there a little bit. Obviously, we need to connect that back up, but we've got the money, and therefore, go as the crow flies. Uh, don't uh, don't go for you know all the windy roads unless you absolutely have to. Uh, crow flies it every every step of the way. What if we were to stay on the flat here? Yeah, and then get over onto there. Put a little hump in the bridge. Put a little hump in the too much slope. No, it's not. Yeah, it might be. Okay. Yeah. All right. What now? Well, let's let's pull it back. There you go. See, look, that was easy enough. All right. To about that. Check that we've got an angle that isn't completely horrible. Right. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not just going to spend the entire episode going like, and now I've built a bit of road. Congratulations. And then we'll, we'll wiggle that one around the corner here. I don't think it's going much further than that. Uh, but that should uh, that should help quite a bit. And then get you round. Get, get you, get you yeah yes round onto here all right and then onto that everyone happy everyone's happy right give it a bit of turbos for 30 seconds and and let things just uh figure out what they were doing before they were so rudely interrupted yeah yeah all of you lot go and go back to what you were doing but i've given you the ability to really rip it around there now uh so that should that should help on a on a throughputty kind of a kind of a fashion. So what I want to do is I want to go grab the uh, the planks from over on this side. Now then, can we upgrade this station? Or no, you can't upgrade the station because this is uh, that's a bypass. So we're going to need to go up and over. And you've got another bit of unnecessary queuing here that can be alleviated by uh, by bridging or or tunneling. So we'll do that next. All right, let's let them get out of the way. And then pause. Because uh, it's all about the speed of throughput. It's all, all everything, all everything's about the speed of throughput. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, every political decision that's made, speed of throughput is, uh, is what people are concerned about. Uh, keep going. Yeah. And then look at this wiggly business here. That's a lot of wiggly business. No, 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 no. There you go. Wiggly. Wiggly business be gone. All uh, right. Give me uh, give me some large. And then we'll fling that up there like so. See? No wiggling. Everyone's happier. A uh, bit of upgrade. Wait. This. Yes. Up. Grade O. Perfect. And then we'll do the same again. So we'll... What do we think here? I think uh, under, maybe? Do we think under? Uh, it helps if you turn your magic wand off. All right, okay. Well, under or over, either is good. Well, let's see which one looks better. Actually, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll have it. Uh, let's go for some of this. Give it some of that. And run you up to here. Now, obviously, these aren't traveling vast distances. You know, we're not crossing continents. Uh, but, you know, there is still uh, speed to be gained back by uh, by offering the kind of road that could be considered modern rather than... Uh, rather than barely upgraded uh, kind of tarmacadden from the turn of the, the 20th century. Uh, right, that should be that one happy, because it is. And then, ee, what's the best way to go? Well, I guess what we would do is kind of a beeline this way, do a bridge over the river and uh, and hop along into this junction. Now, the, the downside there, how many lines are we using here at the moment? one okay i think we could probably handle that now this also drops off steel so we might get a, a side benefit of picking up some steel as well I doubt it but you never know uh we're gonna go with uh auto bridging here rather than uh, rather than popping a wheelie over it we'll uh we'll we'll build our own no we can probably come down one or two for that matter there you go how do we feel about that Tell me, tell me how you feel about that. Oh, I feel good about it. All right, well, in that case, we'll use it. Uh, and then you come around this side onto there. No, don't fancy it. 
you could you could get over onto the bridge though. All right. Yeah, that's a that's an uncanny kind of connection, but it it should do the job. Um, it's not going to lead to a, a perfect as the crow flies kind of route, but it is it's close enough uh, that it should be fine. And then you can just uh, come on up the hill. Yeah, you see, you're you're maintaining altitude. Well, yeah, and and where's the problem with that? It means it's staying relatively flat. Yeah, it does mean that you're building a roller coaster. Oh, we don't want to build a roller coaster. There you go. That's better. Uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go as far as there. Now, I didn't really want to do this with road, but I think road is going to be the best way to to, to approach it. Uh, what we want to be to looking at though is rail, and uh, and the rail in question should be going to pick up some steel. Now, if we get the steel manoeuvring correct, then uh, then the increased output uh, from the, the the associated mines and so forth. Uh, could have a, a nice knock-on effect uh, for, for other industries. So we need to go from the steel mill, which is up here. And where are we? You've got one goods line there. Yep, which is, that's a coal line. Yes. Where's the, no, this is not the steel mill. This is, re this is receiving steel. Where is the steel? Is that the steel mill? No, that's tools factory. You can tell because it's a picture of a tools factory. Uh, your, your actual steel mill is over here. Right, here's the station. Okay, now it looks like it is currently single track owed. Well, that's, that's unhelpful. Uh, right, well, we'll double track that for starters. Uh, we'll also high speed it because you would, wouldn't you? Uh, let's get rid of this dirt track. Something's upset about that. Really, was something using the dirt track still? Steelworks Trucks was using a dirt... Oh, my goodness me. It's the 21st century, man. Come on, get the, get your roads upgraded. Upgraded roads are not a luxury item. They're essential. Uh, right, I'm going to need to leave enough room here for me to uh, uh, do my bidding with a bit of train track. So uh, we'll we'll hustle it down this way. Yeah, keep going. That's it. Look, if you're going to use this stuff, use it. Don't uh, don't don't cut corner. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like that. The only the only real downside to it is that you've you've kind of throttled. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, you're still kind of a little. You're a little bit throttled in terms of of potential throughput there, but uh, I like it. Yeah, no magic wand that one. See if we can't get some medium underneath the bridge. Just a smidge of collage. Okay, right. Well, we can we can work with that, I'm sure. Really? Well, we're going to have to now that I've bulldozed it. Uh, right, get under there. Come on, you can do it. There you go. That's it. Like that. Yeah, it's not the perfect angle, but it is an angle, and therefore it is perfect. Yeah. yeah that's a sort of flawless logic uh, at work there. Right, yeah, good. Magic wand that. That's it. Uh, then complete our connection here. Uh, magic wand off. Thank you. Up to there and on you go. Okay, right, good. So that's, you know, that's improved that. I'm already made, and this is, I mean, this is all that there is left to do, really, when you've, uh, when you've, you've got a mature map that you've done, you know, pretty much everything. Uh, then, uh, then all that remains is, uh, is improve what you've got. Uh, inter ah, ah, ha, here's, this is interesting. So here's the coal train, I'm assuming, uh, and then next to it, or you know, that's a steel delivery with some coal, uh, and here you've got steel delivery with some iron ore. Yeah, I wonder whether this signal, uh, single track is actually beneficial in uh, in throttling the, the services that are running up it. Uh, regardless, however... We will double track this section because I'm going to be bringing another train in here. Just so you know, uh, I'll merge it onto there just for just for the hell of it, really. Uh, and then uh, ooh, yeah, we're going to need some kind of. I might need to re redo this junction. There's a very yeah. There's a there's a very very distinct possibility I'm going to need to redo that junction. If you could do me a crossover here, that'd be nice. No. Okay. Where's the 
points. I think I'm pretty sure I had the right grab there. Uh, try it from here. Anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. It will do that. Okay, cool. Uh, and then out here we will go with signal. Yeah. Just the one. Yeah, just the one for the moment. Uh, we'll do a bit more in a minute. Uh, let's uh, let's high speed all of this business as well. Uh, your modern your modern electric uh, uh, freight locos can can handle a bit of a bit of speed uh, once in a once in a blue moon. Right, uh, where are we? There we go. Okay, now what? All right, well, we have the option to go around this way. Where does that end up? Um, all right, you're coming around up, coming around the side of the mountain here, and there's a good station. Okay, no, that's nifty, with a depot at the end of it. Oh, very nice. Um, okay, so that's a, that's the steel delivery route that's heading up here to, where's that, Rygate. Uh, and obviously you're using uh, the passenger line for your steel trains. Naughty. Uh, very cheeky, I like it. Um, and that's that's absolutely fine. Meanwhile, the other line is, uh, is fundamentally for iron ore, but I suspect, yeah, it's also dropping off both slag and... Uh, and steel there as well. Nothing wrong with that. But we're going to want a third option. And I'm not entirely convinced that I've left that open to myself. Okay, well, let's let's see what we see. So we want to come out this way. I think we can probably get a bit of a tunnel under there. Uh, but we're heading for there. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to spend a lot of money on doing this as the crow flies which is a, an oft-used statement. All right, okay, there. So we're going through there. Now, can we... Yeah, we can. All right. Yeah, just, yeah, do it. Okay, cool. Um, now, I don't know if I'm going to need one or two trains on here. That's the, that's the other downside. Uh, we're also going to need something along those lines. Because I am going to set this up so that it runs this short section here as a uh, as a proper two way line, because uh, that will help with uh, with kind of you know traffic throughput. So we'll put a signal there, and then we'll put one here. We'll put one here and one here. Now none of those are one way signals, so you'll be able to go against them readily enough. But it will mean that when you've got incoming services queuing, uh, that that should all be good. This, however, is going to be one way. Uh, this needs to be a diamond again. All right. Okay. Hang on. I'll sort it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Kill that signal. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to need a... Are you really going to need a diamond? Yes, you are. Okay. So you need to go over here. Thus. And then over here. Thus too. And then we put a signal just before that one. All right. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy and I know it. Clap your hands. Uh, okay, right. So that's, I mean, that's going to continue operating as it was before. Maybe, maybe a slightly faster route. Uh, in fact, we ought to have a quick look and make sure that those trains are using it correctly. It does look promising. Yep, there we go. We've uh, they've, they've taken to uh, to having a passing lane there really rather well. Now, then, we need to get over here. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, stuff you and your main connection. Uh, you can you can figure out what you're doing as soon as I've got the important me method of transport through. Uh, now, you've got a train line there. I think we're going to go under that, and then we'll skirt the mountainside. All right. Are we, though? No, oh, no. Hold on. We've got an over. All right, an over will do, because we're going higher still. How much bridge is that? A reasonable amount, but actually not an unreasonable amount, if that makes sense. It doesn't, but carry on. Uh, right, on we go. I have to f I just checked that I was actually putting electrification down as I went, and mercifully, I am. Uh, so we're doing quite a lot of, uh, of kind of altitude climbing here, which is, I mean, it's got to be done at some point. Yeah, work it, work it around the corner. I don't think we're going to be going that fast, but uh, make sure that you've got as much speed not being lost as possible. All right, and then work that around there. Do you want to span it like that? 
how does the height here compare to where we're going? This is actually about the altitude that we want. So we can we can sit like that, then come out of the tunnel here. Then come out of the tunnel here. T come out of the tunnel here. Come out of the... There we go. Yeah, all right, that'll work. Uh, so we want to plumb in a good station up here. Now, I'm still going to reserve the, reserve the right, reserve the notion of... Um, uh, of double tracking this uh, we won't need two platforms though uh, one will be absolutely plenty sling that in there that's made a, a lovely little dent in the track there and uh, that's that's sure to make some people very happy indeed uh, then we'll we'll fling this over there and uh, that's that's more or less a connection although the bridge is wrong But actually, we'll forgive that the bridge is wrong because uh, it is on the it's on the it's on the approach to the station. So uh, we'll be slowing down by that point anyway. So it's quite a lengthy route. I think we're going to need two trains. But the end delivery that you're making, yeah, is not actually that severe, is it? Uh, tricky one. Ooh, I've just seen a just seen an opportunity to to bonus here uh, now. Where is we're making goods? Where's uh, where's me me recognizer here? We're making goods, so we're dropping off in the blue zone. All right, this is the blue zone. So do we want this one? Maybe. Do you though? Yeah, I don't know. Now there's a there's a big risk that comes with this, and the big risk is, am I going to cannibalize? Uh, the other goods factory as you can see goods are already being made and am I going to cannibalize that by putting this in place I can answer that question very simply it's really likely uh, that I am going to upset the apple cart of what's already working um, but hey you know we're, we're just trialing some stuff right so uh, you know who knows but what we're going to do with this is we'll run a large country road here out from there you're going to need a truck stop i am uh and then we'll uh, we'll connect up with well there that would seem to be natural do you really need a bridge we don't really want a bridge so try and get away without one there you go that works yeah onto that junction that's good so the truck should come in they'll probably go underground here out to the delivery stop which is that one i think uh before I don't know, is it going to turn around and then head over the bridge to get back down here? Yep, feels quite likely. It does feel quite likely. Yes. Well, we'll we'll just we'll we'll see. Uh right, give me uh give me a truck stop and then we're then we're ready to set things in motion. Uh right. Uh yeah, turn it, rotate it, M and N. All right. See, so you, you play half a dozen different games and they all use entirely different means of rotating the camera. Oh, I've broken a bit of road. Where did I do that? It's it'll be it'll be around here. Is it? Where whereabouts have you broken it? Rygate to Bishop's Waltham. No, oh, that's a mystery. I don't think that was it. No, no, bus b bis, bishops buses Rygate Waltham thing. Oh yeah, you you told them that they could just make do until you'd got the real transport. This is here. Okay, right. Uh, well, we could bypass by going under the bridge. Won't that be nice? Yes. It really depends where this stuff goes. Well, let's just let's just plumb it in and find out, shall we? Sling that in there, and then uh, and then wiggle around the corner. Come on. We're going for a wiggle. Oh, which way? Round the corner. Ugh, that's not that good bit of cornering. There you go. Gentle corners. We want people to be able to maintain optimum uh, transportation speeds there. Now, for all my big talk about, oh, always take the optimum route there. Make sure you're going the fastest way possible. Yeah, I've completely betrayed that kind of notion by, uh, by getting rid of that. Also, you've broken this truck line. Just thought you should know that. Thought you'd appreciate it. Stick that back on medium. Actually, should you? No, let's use town road for that because you've got a bit of uh, you've got a bit of build going on. 
Uh, and we don't really want to stand in the way of that if they uh, if they fancy building out near the truck stop. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop them. Uh, keep going, and then something like that. No, something like this. Yeah. Okay, good. Anyone else? Anything else? Uh, let's say that that's enough, and then we'll see exactly how this percolates once we actually start building out. Uh, let's leave. Let's get the game moving again, because obviously we're not actually doing anything at the moment. Um, do you have depot access to get a train onto this route? I think we might need a fresh one. Okay. Well, do, what are you doing first? Let's do my truck route. I've actually made really quite a simple setup here. This is not this is not complex at all. Uh, find me a find me a, a truck house. Truck house. Yes, a truck house. House for truck. How about this one? That'll do. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, you you you've jumped the gun a smidge though. Let's get the route up first. So you're going to go from. Uh, this little area here. Right. Bottles for the exchange. Oh. Uh, up to uh, shields and transfer. Hmm. And then come back via uh, Profit Central. Oh. Yep. And then as expected, you've reversed course. You've gone back over the bridge. And we're done. Okay. Yeah. It's... It might be more efficient to do this in two jumps, but to be honest, I think it'll work just fine. We will go with... Uh, let's go for 12. Right, good. Set line on... You haven't got a name yet. Uh, this is going to be the, sewer, the CF, uh, Goods, uh, Planks, uh, Fandango. Fandango. Okay, yeah, you all happy? Well, I don't care if you are or not. Go. Okay, that's that one. So, the only thing that really remains is to now get the uh, get the steel on the go. And then it should just... This should just pay off. Ah, uh, should it? Well, no. Actually, it might not. That's the thing. We don't know. Because, um, uh, I mean, anything could happen as a result of this. Uh, to there. I think this is going to be too slow. I think we're going to need a second train on here. Uh, this is uh, CF, because that's me. Uh, this is steel to the Fandango. All right, smashing. Where is your where is your, where is your depot? I know there was a train depot on that other line. Yeah, yeah, you can do it from here, but that doesn't actually hit anywhere useful on the line. So if I were to go... Oh, I don't know. Uh, how about here? Yeah, I reckon I'll do Okay, right. Are you gonna are you gonna get some snappage here, or are you just gonna chance it? You know me. Yep, I do. All right, stick that there. Stick this on there, and run her in. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Okay, now then, close that. Close no, steel to the Fandango. That's where we're going. So I'll leave that open just as a mental reminder for the 17 seconds it's gonna take me to decide what I'm running. Uh, locos, please, and electricity. All right, a class 185 does 99. I think we might need that. Uh, or we got the 103, which is even faster. Power 8,000, tractive 70. 5,000, ooh. Well, have, wait for it. Have we got uh, wagons that will do the job? What are we hauling here? Just steel. All right, it would be nice to be able to bring goods back the other way because that would ramp our demand. But I really don't want to be taking goods wagons as well. Well, what's it going to be? 9, 10, 11, 12. Nah, keep going. Let's let's get this up over to 200 should do the trick. Um, remember, the town has got 400 in terms of demand, right? So uh, uh, we want we want to be hitting that. There you go. All right, try that for starters. See how you get on. Uh, steel to the Fandango. Go for it. Uh, and then while we're here, uh, let's see how this uh, this bit of junctioning is working out. All being well, we should be running a little more efficiently than we were before. Let's uh, let's up the tempo for a moment and uh, and see what we get. 
So the question is, uh, do, does it need greater 1 or greater 2? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, is our, it, it's the, the, uh, the expansion of Shildon's kind of goods delivery setup. Is that going to be reliant on uh, simply, you know, this dedicated line might do the trick. Uh, also, those goods that we're shipping there, they could end up anywhere. Uh, we're dropping them all over the show, so uh, so they may get some pickup in demand. How much are we going to cannibalize this lot, for instance? Uh, you know, that's another thing. Did you have anything on board? You've even got steel now. So it's, it's not opposed to the concept. Uh, I think the only thing that's going to slow it down is the, uh, is the delivery of raw materials. But I've, I've sped that up with the new, uh, the, the, the new kind of double tracking that we've got going on here. It's just a, just a question of whether that's going to have an impact or not. How much are you packing? 80. Yeah, I think we might be able to increase that. Also, this is a really old loco. Which I guess you kind of want to keep. Uh, given that you've not got the uh, locos never go out of date mods, given that that's not running, um, uh, yeah, you, do you want to keep your legacy stuff or do you want to do you want to modern it up some and, and increase the uh, the amount of, of of goods that you can haul? Let's have a look. We've got replacement on. No, replacement isn't even on. How old is this train? Sixty-one years. Okay, right. Well, no, let's make a replacement. Let's let's bring it up to date. All right, we'll have a 185, because that's the only, really one, the, the only one really to choose from. And then, at the moment, you were doing kind of 80 and 80. So we'll go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, except you don't want that. You sure? Yep. Yeah, you don't you don't want that. That's not what you want. What what's the current consist? You've got no, that's that's what that's what you're suggesting. State cars, yeah, and the other one. Oh good. Open wagons, so hoppers. Not uh not these uh not these chaps. Oh, okay. Well hang on then. I'll I'll sort that out. Oh you you're deleting it all you you're doing it all wrong. Start again. Alright, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Thank you. And this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good. Excellent work. Replace now on. Yeah, go. 30 million. Thank you very much. Don't wrap it. I'll write it home. Uh, this chap, I suspect, is rather similar. Yeah, you're you're running some dubious flipping uh, some d diesel business. Uh, I think a class 218. I think we can go faster than that. Let's have a look. Uh, diesels. Class two one eight does eighty seven. Yeah, no, you want uh, you want lecky on that, right? Get shot. Are these all modern? That's an open wagon, and then that's a state car, and those are open wagons. Okay, cool. So we can we can upgrade to the electricity, uh, but we can also, I suspect, add a couple more uh, open wagons on there to uh, to make sure that keeps uh, keeps moving replace now thank you 20 million quid worth every penny i've not balanced that and i should have done but you know we'll we'll worry about that in a minute all right let's go and see if we've got some planks on the move as well i'd be surprised if we hadn't i would uh, well there we go there's some goods look so obviously we've got planks on the go what have we got coming in nothing 75 in the potential yeah okay all right good Right, where's my trucks at? What are you? How much are you packing? Eleven. Ah, that's a good sign. Um, all right, now then, if we come down to here, you will see this is now barely able to keep pace. Certainly, the Fandango is running it dry every opportunity it gets. Uh, planks and steel to train is a little slower. Also, this here, you've got a lot of planks to goods factory going on. Can we add a second terminal here? There's a vehicle in the way. Well, when there isn't a vehicle in the way, can we do it? I'm hoping they can get around the outside of that. Oh, do it. Where do it? No, no, there's a vehicle in the way. Alright, well, just wait till there isn't. 
because I think we can we can up our throughput here, you know. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. No, nah, vehicle's in the way. Yeah, I'm not sure they can get past that far end, you know. You've you've built your your port here on a on a very skinny bit of river. Now that's not to say it's not gonna work. But I I'd I'd be surprised if I can get this to, to, to take. Um yeah. but here's the here's your problem look. Right? Wood freighters. Tons of them. They they are desperate to deliver every means of uh, of freight you can possibly imagine. Replacement. What do you got on here at the moment? Is that the is the Axe Alp the best in the business? Uh no it's not. The Merlin is the best in the business. Take it. Yeah, replace now. Yep. Okay, good. Can we uh do anything about this? No. Alright. Well, what we've what we accomplished by increasing the capacity in that way is yeah, you might run your uh, your running costs will un almost un undoubtedly be uh, be quite a bit higher. But it should mean you don't build up this big flipping queue. Uh, and that means that we'll, we'll be able to keep the trucks better serviced. Uh, and hopefully get, uh, get throughput to go along with that. You never know. Go on. Let me, let me upgrade it. It won't. The, the river's not wide enough. It's not allowed. Yeah, forget about it. Okay. I have forgotten about it. Good. Uh, anyway, this is going to keep the production here. It should ramp it up. I mean, the same goes for the steel mill as well. Is that we really should ramp up production as a result of this extra demand that we've created. Uh, but at the moment, I am not seeing it so much. How are you doing? Production 28. Steady on. How much have you just brought in? Some steel. Yeah, I, okay, that capped out at 26 still. What's the turnaround time on this line? Uh, six minutes. Well, that's not horrendous. It's not. Yeah. Okay, well, you, you just need more, really. Uh, and the, the issue there is either going to be uh, the amount of raw materials coming in is, uh, is stifling production, 27. Okay, well, that's bumped it one further. For some reason, we're dropping off comrades there as well. That's, that's good. We might end up taking them with us at some point in the future. 31. Yeah. It's all... I mean, it's going the right way. It's just going the right way quite slowly. Uh, but it's, it all interlinks. Once you start building up production in one, you'll, you'll build up production in others as well. So, I'm going to let this run for, ooh, where are we? 2020. I'm going to let it run for a couple of years. Uh, and we'll see what, without me interfering further, we can we can get out of it. See, we're still, we've got logs, planks coming in. How's the, how's the profitability looking? Well, it's, it's not dreadful. Uh, it will be significantly better once we start getting some goods produced. Because uh, then, obviously, you can, you can drop them off and make a bunch more cash. Um, but I need to also check on the steel mill and make sure that that's, that's working in an optimum kind of fashion. And I don't think that I'm load balancing well uh, between uh, iron ore and the other thing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's important too. Right, okay, All right, give me a minute. Let's see where we get to. Okay, time's passed. It's now 2026. Uh, we're really, really rolling along here. And what's the verdict? Yeah, that's the verdict. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's, it's kind of started to, to bed in a little bit, uh, but not quite enough. Now, I just added uh, a new... Uh, a new service that should make a bit of a difference. As you can see, we are generating some goods out of here, so it's not uh, it's not a dead loss. Uh, but what it is is loss making. Uh, we haven't yet hit the point where we're uh, where we're fully profitable on this. So uh, the big sticking point has been getting the steel uh, persuaded to actually deliver here. So here's the uh, the the planks uh, route. If we look at the finances on this, it does okay. Um, uh, if I were to drop 
Planck's delivery by, by much less than this, it would, it would come to a full stop. But as you can see, production's only at 54, and we've got planks stored to cover that 54 already. Uh, so the, the challenge is in getting enough steel through uh, to make this kind of, you know, up the tempo a bit. So I've just added a second, uh, a second steel train. And apologies for running at high speed, but we want to see this actually, actually percolate. So I've added a second, uh, a second train to that route and, uh, and double tracked accordingly. Um, with all the ships upgraded, it's actually starting to improve the throughput a little more. But it's just not, just not quite getting enough uh, iron ore particularly. Um, but coal also, you can see it's running empty at the moment. The, uh, the, the trucks here running up to the steel mill, it's not quite at speed. Um, yeah, we've got to get more trains in here faster. And the, the bottleneck that's occurring at this junction doesn't help, but it's not that severe. Uh, when you look at this, you've only got 48 of 247 coal on there. And you kind of go, come on, get it moving. What's this? We've got 12 steel on there. That's not going to cut it. We've got 122 iron ore. That's a bit better, I suppose. But then that's uh, out of 156. So uh, I also added a few extra trucks onto the line that's bringing iron ore out from here. But again, that's not really, it's not really producing gangbusters amounts. I mean, look at it. It's going, you know, we're, we're draining it as quickly as it's filling up. So it should start to, to pick up a little bit more, particularly with this new iron train uh, that we've got. Sorry, big steel train that we're running. Uh, let's slow this back down again. Uh, because I've given this some boxcars on the end of it as well. The thinking being, you never know, maybe there'll be a little bit of demand for goods out that way, and uh, and that will, in turn, ramp up production at this factory. But, you know, as we said at the outset, this is a mature map. It is largely complete, and uh, and getting much extra production out of this now is going to be any, it's going to be a proper challenge. So... The only other thing that I did to potentially improve that was uh, I added a second line. Oh, well, look, we've got some uh, got some commats turning up. Is uh, Shildon Goods Only, which lives on this side, uh, to try and feed these uh, these blue chaps here uh, and get them to pop out a little bit more. In fact, you've got some industrial cropping up here as well, which is probably why we've got commats turning up. Now I've only got two trucks on that line. Uh, let's up the tempo again. Um, but, you know, it all helps. Everything contributes. Uh, it's it's simply a case of, you know, we've got to get a production up. And production's going to be negligible until the steel factory starts to uh, uh, fling a little bit more this direction. Uh, there's, I mean, there, there are plenty of planks to be had, as you can plainly see. Uh, and plenty of lumber to feed into those planks, as you can plainly see. The upgrading of the ships to carry 250 rather than uh, 156, I think it is. Uh, that helped. Did it help enough? No, not not so much. No, didn't really help as much as it could have done. Uh, there's just, you know, there's, there's a lot of demand for this stuff. And it's going all over the place. But there's no other towns to connect to that can potentially make it any better. So there you go. That's going to wrap it up. Is this a, is this a success or a failure? Well, it's always a failure. I'm involved. Uh, but we have managed to bump this. Oh, five minutes ago, we weren't at mediocre. Five minutes ago, we were at good. <sighs> oh, well. Yeah, you're just going to have to take my word for that. Um, yeah, you are. You are, you are going to have to take my word for it. We've built up the shopping facilities by 100. But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's touch and go. And... And frankly, you need to build this stuff from the from the get go with maximum deliveries kind of in mind. There. Uh, anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Um, fun to investigate. Small maps are always going to be challenging because of the uh, the limited rate of uh, of delivery options that you have. Um, but the important thing is, on a small map particularly, you can really stay on top of making sure that everything is completely up to date, so that you're running the latest and the greatest on everything. But, you know, that's, it's not the most exciting thing to do because all you're going to do is, is have what you had before just slightly better. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, Joachim, thank you very much for the request. Uh, it was a lot of fun to uh, to poke around with. Anyway, if you'd like to submit your own request, yeah, get yourself over to scaleabout.com slash kernel underscore failure and, uh, and submit your own request, and I'll quite happily poke your map too, because uh, who doesn't like that being done to their maps? Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and fling a like at this if you can be bothered, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio. All right, tiddly little map. Uh, but very well developed, and and frankly, I quite like a tiddly little map. Uh, I did one at the tail end of the uh, the, the train fever era. Uh, I did a very small little map, I had five towns on it in total, and it's quite good fun to do because it runs beautifully, and you can connect everything to everything, and it just you know it tinkers along. But uh, due to the way that growth is seeded by uh, connectivity you hit a hard cap for, for how much growth you're actually going to get on the map, which is a bit of a shame. It's kind of the inverse problem that the, you have on uh, on super huge maps is you get so much connectivity on those that everything grows out of control and the game grinds to a standstill. Um, on this one, never grows sufficiently that you feel like you've, you've got the most out of it. Still, a lot of fun to play with, and thanks very much to Jochen for sending it through. Uh, again, if you fancy me poking your transport sometime, transport fever, uh, save uh, before we move on to transport fever two, uh, then uh, get in touch via scaleabout.com slash kernel underscore failure, and, uh, and I'll poke things with a stick.